So, the baby's on the bed, so that's to put the grinder away. Couldn't be bothered trying to find the bolts on this, so just cut the top off it, cut the side off it, rip the door off it. Um, I'm blocking all this up here with this arbiter wood now to stop the dog because he was standing all this black and make a mess. Um, as you can see, I said the other day that's burnt, so that needs to be tucked down. But I've got big stuff coming, like really, really big changes uh, coming, so I'm not going to bother re wrapping that. And I'll explain why uh, in another video. But yeah, so tuck that down. Bit of a mess. Got me burn pile of wood all waiting to go on to there eventually need to clean that up as well um, I started I haven't put a video so I started making this fat and it was gonna be at, um, I was using expanding phone to chamfer the edges so it was gonna be just under five foot with a big window in the front and I spoke about it on my live and I, I, I did do a lot of video for this but I'm gonna take it down again I'll explain why in another video stuff's happening things things are moving on things are changing stuff's happening so I'm going to take that down. Um, let's see who's around. Let's see who's about. So they are nice and active. Um, I'm going to spook them by moving these covers, but I'm just going to move them so we can actually have a proper look. Because all I do of a day is I take that first one off and I just slide it back. And that just means they get a bit of daylight and they're not all just hid in the corner. Um, you can actually see what's going on. So, a bit of crap on the bottom. I need, I need to buy a palm back and sort that out. So I've just spooked them a bit, you can see. But they've done really well. Um, she's got some lovely body put on it over the winter period. You can see there's leaves and bits of stuff at the bottom. So that all needs back and out. So, so I need to go and buy a, a vac. This, well, hopefully in the next couple of weeks I'll buy a vac and sort this out. Um, I only put a handful in and they haven't, they haven't took it all, so I don't know, I think I'm messing around, spooked them a little bit to be honest, because I think you would have normally read that. And here, uh, you Hannah Shisui, I've got the male um, ex breeder from Yashikigoi, which is going to be getting put with here, so he's coming soon, he's been over winter with Jack. Um, I've got my male Sankey from. Um, the Oaks Koi Farm, which is going to be with that big female Sankey that's just gone to the back. I'll uh, spot her in a sec. Then I've got two female Achiba, one Doitsu Achiba. So I'm hoping that he's going to go with them too. And we'll have some nice Achiba spawn. This is me Sankey coming up now. She's going to go with the male from the Oaks. The Hannah is going to go with Yoshihigoi X Breed and male, which is with Jack. So that's three spawns, three possible spawns this year. Um, and they should be successful apart from the male achiever. He might not be. So I am gonna get another male achiever ready. Um I do wanna I do wanna use him. He's a little belter, really nice good pattern, nice body, lovely fins, just, just a really nice shaped fish. So I wanna use him, but if I can't, I'm gonna get another male achiever lined up. And if I do get another male achiever lined up, then I'll might do might do two um, spawns. So that's the achiever I spawned last year. She's an older girl, but she is like successful. You can tell she's got, got eggs with the body on it. This achiever, I don't know where to put the doits and doits. I did say I wasn't going to mix any of the farm. So these are all Yoshihigoi, so I wasn't going to mix Yoshihigoi. Um, I was going to always cross and put another... Um, Put, put another farm fish from it, do you know what I mean? So Jap would just she go English with Jap, etc. That was my plan. So we'll have to see what happens, but she's a little belter here. So guys, the vat's down. Um just breaking up the wood now, some of the screws have bents and stuff so I can't cut them out. Um scraping off all this like, insulation so I will expand the foam so I can then burn the wood because I don't want to be burning expanding foam not nice and then can't do nothing else on the shed till the baby's away so it'll probably be tomorrow now and I've just blocked off all here so the dogs don't walk and all the soot and then carry it into the house so that's where I'm up to right so we're back a couple of days has moved on now as you can see the shed's gone I had to block up a bit of the fence um there was a hole in the fence obviously with the panel haven't been changed all needs painting this really Looks a bit scuffy. I've got the rest of my wood here to burn. Wood there, wood there. And um, 
so yeah, I'm gonna get a little start fire started in a second. Yeah, so no, but this time I won't leave it. Um burn all this, burn all this. I've stripped this fat down as well. So didn't even get a chance to get fish in it to be honest, but you can see all the the stuff from the fire. So uh, yeah. I got siphoned the water out last night with the hose pipe. Not a fancy, just normal hose pipe siphon. Um Got the water out here, stripped it all down, so this is ready to be moved. And then, yeah, I'm just going to cut clear all the back of here. And just paint all this wood. As you can see, like, that was the door of the shed. So that was the colour it was, and that was the colour it ended up. Um, so, yeah, it's all destroyed, so it's going to go. I'm going to crack on. Hi, right, guys, so this is uh, the giveaway. Semi-wrapped, waiting to go. So, good luck to everyone who entered. Remember, to be you have to be uh, liked and subscribed to enter any of my giveaways. But, good luck. Congratulations. Um, drop an email to my boys, Koi, at the bottom of the screen now. And uh, send me your address and I'll get it post out to you. As I said guys, you please like, please subscribe, you have to be subscribed and you have to like the video to be in it with a chance to win. And uh, plenty more giveaways coming, loads of other stuff coming. So I've got a nice, small, controlled fire. Um, I've been chopping up all the wood, so it's smaller pieces to burn rather than trying to burn the big bits. And the meat, the fire go wild. So it's going to burn slow, but I'll get rid of this wood, hopefully today. And then... Um, I can just clear it all then, just give it a good scrub and fix things and do what I need to do. So, we're getting there. So, um, I've just given these weeks um, about 10 minutes ago and I was busy and they all just seem to come alive. So, of course, I'll uh, get a little bit of footage of them. Wait till they all come back. I've got an easy pot clean going on in here. Um, but I've just... Um, I wasn't paying enough attention and media went into the wrong side, so yeah, I've just been fishing out media for the last 10 15 minutes. Nightmare, I've done it before, it does me head in. And over here, I've, uh, I've just got, still got the, the slow fire. See them boards are just protecting anything else, obviously, they might go on fire, but I can flip them on. I'm staying around, I'm not leaving it, so yeah, that's uh, where we're up to now. Hi right, guys, this is having a bubble up as well. Um, and I've got the hose pipe going in on a trickle in for them because they've had these quite clean so I'll just top them up a little bit. I do look very very slowly in there because they're heated to 18 so the water literally trickles in and it takes hours and hours just to put a few inches on it but then the, the water will also heat up as that's happening rather than um, dumping loads of water in and then the fish are struggling. So this is the first time that this pond's been murky even a little bit all over winter. Obviously we James been going in the last few days, so they've started eating and you know they've had the odd day in there eating there, but it's only the last two or three days that they've had it consistent. Um and yeah, the way the water starts going murky, so I'm gonna leave it a little bit longer and then I'm gonna put my UV on. And uh but there's slightly green water, it doesn't bother me. It's only good for them, so yeah. No, I'm done. 